Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, February 15, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally um, on Friday and then broke down. And now we're just right at the 50 moving average. So we may see this go higher. And the reason for that is because these technical indicators are showing signs of bullishness. The CCI is turning around, the MACD, the stochastic is turning around, and that also means that we'll most likely see the MACD turn around here. RSI is still flat, 50 moving average is acting as major support at this point, so we'll basically probably rally from this point. We are kind of making a lower high, so this is basically a low, this is a higher low, and then this will be an even higher low. So we could rally from here and find support next support level at around 92.3048 and um, get fairly close to the 200 moving average so i would pay attention to the us dollar because it will act uh, opposite to uh, commodities and precious metals and indices as well so this may be the thing that triggers the indices to drop um, in the near future so let's look at oil so Oil is just getting ridiculous. We are getting very, very close to the $60, and this is where, well, you should basically consider basically selling this. We'll see what, what happens on, on Friday, but uh, we are going to the edge again at the Bollinger Band. It rallied from, we broke down towards uh, 57.4, and now we're almost at $60. In this uh, world economy, that just sounds way 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 too high we're also at 70 uh, 79 here in the rsi and to have us uh, rsi at 79 in this economy just sounds wrong we should be around 50 or something like that uh, but this is a big warning sign that we could pull back towards the middle of the bullion band at least that's around 55 dollars that is most likely where this is going i don't see this um, rallying above 60 anytime soon so let's look at natural gas. So natural gas is technically all over the place. We have been rallying up towards $3, breaking down towards the 20 exponential, and then just back and forward. I would not enter this market at any point right now. Of course, if, uh, if uh, weather conditions continue to be very bad and it's very cold and so on, uh, then then yes, this could go higher, but I think we've seen the worst of it, and uh, we are not going higher from there. If we break about the $3, then we could go 3.5. Underneath, the, if we break below the 20 and the 50, that opens the door to the 200 moving average at the 2.4, but still, this is a fairly big gamble at this stage. Technical indicators are turning around, so we could see this go towards the 200 moving average. So let's look at copper. So copper is rallying yet again. We broke down, hit the previous highs here, and then rallied. And that's a very bullish sign. We're almost at the at the target that I thought we were going to go to, 3.8, so just at 3.8. So we may touch 3.8 and then break down back towards the 50 moving average, or we continue rally all the way up to 4. So technical indicators are turning around here. We're on the edge of being overbought. We're outside of the bullion band. So I, can, when considering this, I do prefer that this, I would basically say that this will go to the downside with the next three days. So go down towards the middle of the bullion band or the 50 moving average. That is major buying opportunity at this point. And target at that point will be 3.9. So let's look at gold. So nobody wants gold at, at this stage. We are trading underneath the 50, underneath the 20, underneath the, uh, underneath the 200. We are in the downtrend at this point. And uh, if we manage to break um, these previous lows, we'll go to the bottom of the bullish band. That's roughly at 1800. Break below these, uh, these lows at uh, 1785. That opens the door to 1750. And 1750 opens the door to 17. And um, that is, at this point, most likely where we're going. We have a resistant line here, which we 
are not able to break through. We tested it here, here. Also here, we broke through it here and then broke down again really aggressively. So this was basically a false breakout. Then we tested it here and we tested it yet again here. And now we're yet again breaking down. So we also have a lower part here, which is roughly around this area. So we could actually break all the way down to these very lows at 1650 or even lower to 1600. So this looks like what gold is going to, how the gold is going to be trading for the seeable future. Of course, a break above this resistant line here, obviously the door to 1900, 1950, and also 2000 and beyond that. But uh, still a lot of resistance above here, absolutely enormous amount of resistance. So there has to be something significant that's going to happen in order to get oil, gold to rally above that level. So let's look at silver. So as you can see, 20 exponential is holding, 50 is holding, and uh, pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50 are buying opportunities. It is slowly and gradually going towards $40 for, for silver. And uh, yes, it is just more reliable at this point than gold is. So break towards the 20 and the 50 as buying opportunity. Long-term target is $30. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum did very similar to what we basically thought it would do. So it broke down towards the 1200 and then rallied quite significantly. I would be cautious here because we're still outside of the bullish band. I thought this was going to break down even further. If you look at the Fibonacci retracement for, for silver, we could actually break down towards roughly 1182. 11.57 and even better to this level 11.32 that's also the previous highs here and I think that is where we are going I think this um, is going to gradually go down to this level which is the, uh, the 20 exponential moving average and then continue higher from there so let's look at pallium so we did Break above the 50 moving average at this point, it looks like we're going to the top of the range. We are at this here. So we're trading at 2.5 and we're trading in the very lows at 2.2. So we tested 2.2 here and now we're heading towards 2.5. It probably could take forever, probably two to three weeks before we get to this level. As you can see here, it took several weeks before this to break down towards the very bottom. Also here, it took several weeks before going to the top. So yes, if you buy it here, it can break to the bottom. It also can break to the top. It can also wait several weeks in order for this to break to the top. So best thing to do here is to sell at the top, buy at the bottom, and that is basically it. So let's look at aluminium. Aluminium, sorry. So as you can see, we are way outside of the bullish band here. We're getting fairly overstretched. We're on the edge of being overbought. Technically, we are still bullish, but a pullback towards the 50 moving average or a 20 exponential, that is your buying opportunity around um, 2006 or 2000 is where you should enter this market. Break below that opens the door to these previous lows at 1934. And uh, yes, we are still in the uh, uptrend. We did go sideways for a while, but now it looks like there is um, additional life into this uh, this uh, precious metal. We're touching the previous highs here, so a pullback from here, that is very, very likely. So let's look at nickel. So as you can see, we did break down quite aggressively all the way down to 18,205 and then rallied again. So I don't think that this, this rally is going to survive. I think that we're going to see another red candlestick here, and then we're going to head towards the 20 exponential and probably towards the 50. Look at technical indicators. Um, we were at the top of the Bollinger Band. We are on the edge of being our bot, and these technical indicators are turning around. So we may see this go this way and all the way down to the bottom, and that's just a very good buying opportunity. So let's look at sugar. 
So we have started to break down. We are not really there yet. We are on the edge of the 20 exponential. We we'll probably hit that on Monday. If we break below that, it opens the door to these previous lows at 0 0.1554, and then we can start buying into this. Technical indicators are turning around. So yes, we could go, uh, could take some time before we get there. We have this trend line here, which most likely will act as major support. So we probably won't get close to the 50. We'll probably get around this area here, and then you can basically buy into this. So let's look at cotton. So cotton continues to rally. We did break down quite aggressively and then rallied again. Uh, we are still waiting for a major pullback towards the 20 exponential round 0 0.782. And that's where you can enter this market for a buy. Technical indicators are very bullish at this point. So it may take some time before we get there. But the buy it here is just ludicrous. Pull back towards 20. That is your, your buying opportunity. So let's look at Kokoa. So as you can see, we did break down quite significantly here on this was on Tuesday. Rally on Wednesday, broke down on th on Thursday, and then tried to rally on Friday. We rallied a little bit, but we're still underneath the 200 moving average. At this point, it's more likely that we'll break down to these previous lows at 2.2 uh, than it is to rally to 2.8. So uh, technical indicators, they are all over the place. They're fairly flat. Most of them are, uh, this one is negative uh, or bearish. This one is flat. This one is bearish and this one is also bearish. So we, if we start trading underneath here, that opens the door to these very lows. So let's look at wheat. So this is one of the few um, commodities that we entered for last week has been a lot of choppiness we did rally and uh, then break down and then rallied again and then break down we uh, but we ended in green on friday so the 50 moving average is holding very well and that's why i think that this probably will end as a as a as a good trade because as long as this 50 moving average is holding then we are going to go at least to the upside we're probably going all the way to the top of the bullish band here, but probably to these previous highs. Around 669 is where we'll go to on a very good day and then break down again. So technical indicators, they are mixed. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is, uh, is flat at this point. We are still in an uptrend. So this is a pullback towards the 50 moving average, and we could see this rally, but I don't think... We're going to go higher than around 670. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to write me on Patreon if you have any questions. Otherwise, good luck and thank you very much.